What's happening? Welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Now, today is a very exciting video because as you can see, we're going to be talking about Chesington Halloween, which starts in six days time. Uh, I will be there on opening day uh, to try out their attractions and the event this year. But in this um, sort of sort of speculation video slash construction update sort of thing uh there's some exciting stuff we're going to talk about so um let's get straight into it so the first sort of uh thing to talk about is that i think they sort of if you remember when halloween was announced they said that a couple of rides would potentially be getting live actors um, at the time, I don't think anyone really knew what rides officially. They just sort of teased um, that Vampire and Tomb Blaster would be getting actors. Uh, we sort of get this first look at it. So obviously that's the Vampire queue line uh, and you've got a, a lady dressed as a vampire. Can I just say the masks really do fit in with the costumes, uh, this is something which Fort Park Fright Nights have uh, sort of int integrated into the mazes. Like, uh, for example, on Platform 15, the tall guys have sort of like lacy sort of face masks, and um, and the sleepers have the sort of black ones. Um, same with Creek Freak, a lot of them are the black masks here and there and it looks mad. So obviously they did say originally that Vampire and Tomb Blaster would be getting actors, but it sounds like we'd be getting extra stuff coming to Rattlesnake, as well as two additional areas which have just been announced, which is the Rainforest and Sea Life Center. This is interesting. I'm intrigued to see what they do for the Rainforest, as well as sea life but not long to wait now just when you thought chesington couldn't announce anything else this year they have announced a new show which is going to be taking place on the main stage so the main stage which was previously known as the gruffalo arena has been home to a halloween show over the last few years uh last year that show was brilliant with smoke uh sparks and uh fire effects um, now, um, this year we won't be getting that show back, but this year we've got a new one called um, Elmer and the Monster Storytime. So this is, the, um, this is the description. There's a monster in the jungle, or at least that's what all the animals seem to believe. Only the beloved patchwork elephant Elmer is brave enough to investigate the mysterious roaring sound causing all this chaos. Join us at the main stage. This Halloween, as we bring the frightfully fun Elmer and the Monster book by David Mc McGee to life, you may even encounter the hero himself. So obviously we get we so a show that had previously had um, fire and dancing has been replaced with a story time show. I am not too happy with this decision. I think, hmm, if anything, I was sort of expecting, if, to be honest, I don't think they should be doing this on the main stage. I think they should be doing this on, uh, those who remember the uh, Room on the Broom story time they had a few years back, uh, that little stage where Pandemonium used to be a couple of years back, that is where I think they should have been doing it uh, because Elmer's, uh, isn't far from that area, um, but a bit of a weird decision and a bit of a last minute uh, announcement, but interesting. Comment below your thoughts. Now, of course, uh, Chesington Halloween is a great chance for people to get to ride some of their rides in the dark, but they've now announced when Rides in the Dark will be available, and it will only be available from the 25th of October to the 1st of November. I find this quite interesting. I presume they've changed their opening times, so this is probably why. 
Another new thing which has recently been announced is Go Ape Sundown Adventure. Uh, this will run from the 25th of October to the 1st of November. Uh, Go Ape is the sort of treetop thing. I don't know what the best thing to describe it, but this is the description. Join us for Halloween fun as your little Tarzan swing through the trees. Designed for younger adventurers, must be over one meter and fun-loving families. The Halloween adventure is heightened by the darkness of the forest which comes alive at night. Scramble through a series of suspended tunnels, clamber along the weird wobbly walkways and negotiate the all sorts of other tricky or treaty obstacles before leaping into the night air and zooming down hair raisins it was an eerie owl and forest wildlife provide, uh, provide a spooky soundtrack. So this will be on the Treetop Adventure course only. Uh, this will run from 4pm till 7pm on those dates. It's priced at £19 per person. Runs for one hour and you must be at least one metre tall to experience this. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a fan of Go Ape. Um, I do believe this is the only Merlin-owned Go Ape uh, attraction in the UK. Obviously, Go Ape is an outside brand, but I think this is the only Go Ape at a Merlin attraction. But you never know, we might try it out, but who knows. So, moving on to sort of construction wise, the only sort of main bit of construction we've seen is for uh, the reimagined Creepy Caves Resurgence. Um, so the little bit of construction, which I will get up on your screen in a moment, is um, of the the barrels. Now, those who have done creepy caves in the past, you will know that uh, outside the entrance, they normally have some barrels, which has uh, a couple of mist effects. These barrels have been located at the entrance. Uh, even over the last couple of years, they've sort of been down to the side near the footpath, but they've recently been spotted in front of the, the gate, which leads to the staircase which would take you down to the decontamination chamber in previous years of creepy caves. So as you can see, this is, uh, if anything, the most recent construction we've seen for creepy caves. Uh, I find it interesting that they place them there. Normally where that bench is, that is where they normally place them. But it's interesting that they place them there. Obviously there has been rumors of testing has begun on creepy caves. Um, I'm going to be totally honest, uh, obviously there, there were rumours going around quite a while ago that potentially Creepy Caves may be reversed this year to allow for social distancing, which would mean the staircase scene and the decontamination chamber would not be incorporated into it this year. Uh, to be honest, if you would have asked me do I think these rumours are true, I think the rumour is partially true. Now, if Chesington was to or are going to reverse Creepy Caves route, firstly, there's a couple of problems. Firstly, where would the queue line be? Obviously, uh, it is a paid extra attraction this year, with it being £5 per person. But you still have to do a little bit of a queue before you go into the attraction. My question is, where are they going to do the queue line? Because the thing is about where Creepy Caves is, where the exit is, there is a, a door next to the exit, which is a uh, staff green room for the maze. The thing that interests me is they can't put a queue line there because then that's blocking a fire exit. So it's going to be interesting to see where they're going to put a queue line or whether they're going to put a tent. Uh, potentially they could put uh, the queue line uh, where the bench on screen is and it could maybe run down and then run down the path past the reindeers and then you queue up to the side of the exit and then get batched uh, maybe just inside the exit before you go into what may be the new pre-show which is the previous year's finale. Um, there's also rumours about what potentially this year's storyline could be. Uh, there's rumours saying that apparently this year 
the whole maze will be focused uh, on the sort of organisation that has been mentioned in Creeper Caves over the last few years, which is, um, and which, fun fact, is actually an anagram for Chessington World of Adventures uh, Resort. Uh, it's Crisis World Organisation and Research, which, as I said, is an anagram for Chessington World of Adventures, which I think is a really cool little uh, Easter egg, which I quite enjoy seeing every year. So that's sort of the main construction uh, for Creepy Caves. We will get back onto something exciting about Creepy Caves in a moment. Uh, but across the park, as you can see, spiders' webs and spiders have now started appearing uh, across the park. Uh, a lot of this were located around the park last year, obviously with their family maze spiders, which uh, hasn't returned for this year. Hopefully they bring it back next year. I reckon just due to social distancing, they've decided to uh, not bring that uh, attraction back, which is interesting. But now it's time to talk about the most exciting part of this construction update or speculation update whatever it is. So the most exciting thing is that we have got our first look at Creepy Caves Resurgence for 2020. As you can see, this picture has only recently been updated onto the Chesington Halloween website. I'm going to say this now, this looks insane and it sort of gives us an idea of what to expect potentially in the maze this year. So let's sort of uh, work some things out. So first thing we can see is that there is a guy wearing what looks like um, a bulletproof vest with a gas mask. I'm going to say this now. I definitely guarantee they're going to be using gas masks within Creepy Caves this year. And I'm not going to lie, these things look terrifying. In previous years, um, they've not really used um, gas masks. I think I've seen the gas mask used once and that was in 2018, but they normally have one on display in the finale room. So it will be interesting to see uh, what they do with that. As you can see, the guy in the gas mask is holding a brick. Um, and then if you also look around the room, you can see Look, if you look very carefully at the back, there are loads and loads of barrels and there's like some windows in the back. This is interesting. Now, where in the, um, now where in the Creepy Caves building do I think this is? I think this is potentially in where the old finale is and potentially this is giving us a tease for a potential scene, which from what I can gather, may potentially be an actor or two actors in a room full of barrels and banging on them. Now, this would probably be like a, a middle scene, sort of like a middle of the maze scene or potentially a finale. Uh, but I wouldn't want this as a finale, to be honest. Um, and then the last thing to notice is there looks like a pipe going into a machine. Now, I don't quite know what this could be. Um, I, I like I say, Creepy Caves Resurgence is a mystery this year on what's going to be happening inside. But um, yeah, it's really exciting to see this first look into Creepy Caves this year. Um, obviously, uh, at the time of recording, uh, Halloween does start in six days, so we are just under a week away from Creepy Caves opening again where we get to experience a new route. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe. When we do go to Chesington, we will be doing some audio recordings of the maze. So you get to hear uh, my reaction from it. Anyway guys, uh, like, comment and subscribe. I've been Nasha, this has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. We will see you in the next one. Stay safe and peace out. Mm-hmm.